is still in CO1 with title Analyze Stress and Strain Problems in Structure Members under Action Loading. This is the chapter objective and lesson objective. And in lecture 6, we are going to calculate the formation stress and strain under Action Loading for Structure Members. Um, for today, we are going to look at the example straight away. Um, this example by taking the lecture from the previous knowledge in lecture um, uh, 4 and 5. Yeah? So let's read this question together. Determine the reaction at A and P for the steel bar shown in figure below. Assuming now that A... 4.5 mm clearance exists between the bar and the ground before the loads are applied. And the value of a young modulus E is given to you, which is equals to 200 gigapascal. So, in our previous lecture, you've seen the example um, of statically indeterminate, but there's no clearance there. And for this question, there's a clearance. So, delta T. I mean, total delta is not equals to zero anymore for this case. It has value which is equals to 4.5 mm. So how to solve this problem? As usual, first of all, you need to draw a free body diagram. Before that, let, let's look at this um, figure. You see, this is the um, structure before the actual loading or external forces being applied onto that structure. After these external forces being applied to the structure, which is equals to 900 kN, it, it is elongated until point B. So, question asks you to find the reaction at point A and at point B. So, applying superposition method, again, remember to draw this diagram. Okay, this diagram split it into two, the deformation due to actual loading or external loading plus uh, deformation uh, caused by redundant load. From there, you will get the equation number one which is delta equals to delta L plus delta R equals to 4.5 mm. So, so this is equation number one. Yeah? Next step is that you need to... Oh, um, before I forget, since um, I mean you need to review lecture 5 first before you go to lecture 4. From there, you know how to get this uh, value. Okay, so we know that delta, delta equals to PL over AE. So for delta L, PL. PL over AE for um, L plus PL over AE for R. And um, for this section, we have calculated in um, lecture 5. So you need to review let's say, uh, lecture 5 in order to get the value for this part. After that, just substitute into the formula and you'll get the value for RB equals to 115.385 kN. After that, you need to draw free body diagram. And free body diagram, just taking the total forces in y directions equals to zero. Then you will get this value, substitute the value of RB there, don't forget. And you will get the value of reaction at point A is equals to 784.615 kilonewton. Okay. Again, okay, remember, you need to review lecture 5 in order to understand this part. Now, let's move on to example uh, number 2 for today. Let's read the question together. The steel rod shown in figure below has a diameter of 5 mm. It is attached to the fixed wall at, an, at A and before it is loaded, there's a gap between the wall at B. 
P uh, prime and P prime there and the rod of 1 mm determine the reactions at A and P prime if the rod is subjected to an actual force of P equals to 20 kN as shown in the figure neglect the size of the collar at C and the value of E there is given to you which is 200 gigapascal so it is very easy uh, the first step is that you need to draw this diagram um, basically this step is the same as in lecture 5 so I just uh, do it uh, over again so that you can understand it better okay so uh, from this figure split it into two uh, elongation due to external load plus elongation due to redundant load from there you will get the formula for delta equals to delta L uh, minus delta R equals to 1 mm so this is equation number one if you notice here this one is minus but the pre uh, previous question previous example showing plus so how um, by referring back to this um, figure delta L I mean it will elongate this structure will elongate due to loading so it will expand which is positive, positive uh, delta whereas for um, elongation due to redundant load it will contract back because of the redundant force so it will contract therefore delta will have negative value there so um, same steps in as in lecture 5 so this section you need to cut in order to find the value of um, forces in each section okay so this is the free body diagram after you cut for each section and therefore you need to find the value of p1 and p2 Substitute into um, this uh, table. Sorry for the mistake down there. Um, so substitute everything, all the information in the table. After that, applies into this formula. Delta equals to PL over EE. And from there, you'll get the value of delta L equals to 2.038 uh, m, m, uh, no, times 10 power of negative 3 m square this is uh, equation 2 considered as question, uh, equation 2 now let's move on to next step which is you need to find you need to cut this section for in order to get the value of delta due to redundant load okay same steps you need to cut a section in order to get the value of p1 and p2 there after that, substitute into this table and again uh, substitute into this formula and finally you'll get um, this equation number 3. So substitute equation 3 and 2 into equation 1. You'll get the value of Fb, Fb which is equals to 3.395 uh, kilonewton. And another part that you've been, that, that, that we have missing is um, um, reaction force at point A. So how to get reaction force at point A? Well, you need to draw the whole free body diagram for that structure. And therefore, this is the free body diagram for the whole structure. From there, taking the forces um, in x direction equals to 0, you'll get the value of Fa equals to negative 16.605 kN or um, positive value but the direction is the other way around. Either answer is still acceptable. Okay, um, now let's move on to um, uh, other uh, subtopics which is uh, poison ratio. Um, to, to simplify the definition of Poisson ratio is that for example if you get a, um, a rod, a cylindrical rod then you are pulling that cylindrical rod um, of course the, the length will be elongated and the dimension of the um, rod itself will become smaller so 
that is Poisson ratio. To put it into formula, you can refer to this formula stated in the slide. And this is what happened for a poison ratio for a, a structural members. This it is the same. Um, there will be changes in the length and also uh, the cross section area. So basically, poison ratio is defined by um, v there equals to lateral strain divided by axial strain. Another part, uh, another section is that um, design consideration, uh, which is stress concentration to be specific, is a whole because we know that um, in design there will be uh, various types of um, shapes or design or uh, structure itself. Um, it, it, it cannot be only solid. And therefore, it might have hole. Uh, it might, um, I mean, it not necessarily have to be uh, sharp in uh, sharp in a shape. Uh, it might have uh, radius and corners and so on and so forth. So, uh, for uh, this point, we need to consider its stress concentration due to hole, due to hole, because stress will occur whenever the structure have holes uh, in that design. So. For this case, we need to remember this formula K equals to sigma, A, uh, sigma max divided by sigma average. K is the stress concentration. And the value of K can be obtained from uh, the graph. So you don't have to remember the value of K itself, but you need to remember this, uh, this formula. The rest you need to find um, through the graph that will be given to you uh, in the question. Uh, this one um, stress concentration for fillet um, same um, I mean uh, same as in a stress concentration for hole whereby you need to find the value of k through the graph that is going to be given to you. Um, so now let's look at example next example. Um, for this, uh, for stress concentration uh, due to fillet. Let's read it together. Determine the largest actual load P that can be safe, safely supported by a flat steel bar consistent of two portions, both 10 mm thick and respectively 40 and 60 mm wide, connected by fillet of radius R equals to A mm. Assume an allowable normal stress of 165 megapascal. So let's do this together. This is the graph for um, this structure fillet. From there, um, from this graph, if you look at the x axis there, you need to divide, you need to get the value for r, uh, small r divided by uh, small d there. Okay, and for the curve, the curve there, you need to find the value of capital D divided by small letter D. So from there, you'll get D capital D divided small letter D equals to 1.5, which is curve number 2 from top. And R divided by D equals to 0 0.2. So from there, you um, the 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is at this point and touching uh, a curve number two from top and then pull it to y axis there you'll get the value of k which is equals to 1.82 and the question asks you to find the um, allowable normal stress and therefore just substitute into the formula for k sigma max is it my average equals to sigma max divided by k so you'll get the value of sigma average which is equals to 90.7 megapascal um, okay uh, 
another part that we've been missing is that question asks us to find the value of P there. So, if we still remember uh, formula for sigma is that P over A. So, just rearrange the formula. We'll get the value, we'll get the formula for P there. Then, just substitute all the information that you have obtained from the graph here. So, finally, you'll get the value of P equals to 60, uh, 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 36.3 kilonewton. So, that is all for um, today's lecture and this one is the ex uh, example for um, uh, lectures for topics that you have learned in lecture five uh, four five and six okay so you can uh, refer this example or uh, there are also other types of examples that can be found out there. You can search it on your own in order to get more knowledge on how does uh, this um, things, uh, this structure moves and how important it is for us to uh, determine its um, deformation and also the value of stresses. With that, I would like to thank you very much for your kind uh, time, for your kind attention and time. With that, um, see you by next week and thank you and have fun. Bye.